Video bitrate depends on what kind of quality you're looking for. Then I would say like keep the highest quali quality possible, the high quality medium file size. So what we have done in today's video so far is set up our microphone and set up the recording settings. So basically, if you want to go over to the stream settings. <laughs> What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new OBS Studio tutorial and in this video I'm not going to talk about a uh, specific topic but I'm going to show you guys how to get started in general. So if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more OBS tutorials, OBS Studio tutorials every Tuesday at 4.30pm PST. So in this video, like I said, I'm going to talk about the main things you need to know to get started. So I would say the first thing when you boot up OBS, when you for the first time ever. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have your recording set up properly. So what you want to do is you wanna go over to file and you wanna click on settings. And I would say go straight to audio. Now, here are a few things you need to configure. So basically the sample rate, you wanna keep that on 44.1. The channels also keep it on stereo. Uh, desktop audio device, you just want to pick your uh, speakers that you're using, it's this one in my case. Uh, you don't need like a second one if, if you have like one if you have like a main one Then as you guys can see your microphone has to be the microphone that you want to use to record yourself If you have a webcam with a microphone or like a headset or like a like a separate microphone Like me, I'm gonna pick the Samsung CL1U Pro microphone And I would say the auxiliary mic uh, 2 and 3 keep it on disabled because you don't need more than one uh, and then right here, you can actually put like enable push to mute. Then audio, you can also, if you want to record yourself or mute yourself or record uh, desktop audio or mute desktop audio, you have to, you know, press in a key. You can configure right here if you want to press a key or not. So I would say you're set on that part as you guys can see. So we have all the microphones set up. The next thing that you want to do. So then we're going to go over straight to outputs. And right here are the settings that you want to fill in. Uh, for your recording. Uh, the video bitrate depends on what kind of quality you're looking for, obviously the best. So in my case, that is 5,000 bitrate, and then just keep this one right there, keep it on 160. Recording path, like browse, you can choose where to save your file, as you guys can see. Then I would say, like, keep the highest quali quality possible, the high quality, medium file size. Of course, the format, I would recommend use MP4. You can use LFE or MOV or MKV or whatever. I'm just going to recommend keep it on MP4 then the encoder also on the last one and then right here I think you are done so what we have done in today's video so far is set up our microphone and set up the recording settings so basically if you want to go over to the stream settings uh, it's really simple though you just want to make sure to get your stream key you can get either get it off twitch or youtube as you guys can see you can find it on twitch on your dashboard and you can find your youtube stream key you can find it while you're setting up your live event so that's basically for the stream part as you guys can see, show my key, I can show it. Make sure that you always um, not show it because if people get this key, they can stream onto your channel with their OBS if they fill in this key. So make sure to keep this one private as well. And I would say you are set for that part. As you guys can see, video, of course, you can choose uh, resolution and everything. Output scaled resolution, I would say you put that also on 1920 by 1080. That's the quality of my webcam. And then the downscale filter, keep it on the middle one. And then you can choose your FPS right here. So common FPS is like 30, but what you want to do is you can either record on 50 or 60 FPS. You can just pick 60 or you can pick 50. Uh, it's totally up to you. I'm just going to keep it on 30 because I think only, I think the reason you should pick 60 FPS or 50 or higher is gaming. And I would say you are done for the basic things, guys. Now you can start streaming, start recording. You have your microphone set up. That's it for this video, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a really small video just to show you guys the basics and how to get started. So if you want to see more of those videos, make sure to check out the playlist in the description. I have like over 70 videos in that playlist. So make sure to go ahead and check out the description. So uh, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for liking and commenting on this video. I really appreciate the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow for one Sony Vegas tutorial as always on Wednesday. So thank you guys and I will see you guys tomorrow. Just Alex Halford.